Hello and welcome, I'm Pablo. I'm D-Boy. And you join us today as we're going to be taking a tour of OPPO's MWC Virtual World. First off, we'd like to thank OPPO for the opportunity and of course inviting us to take part in their mobile showcase, which is taking place in Barcelona this 2022. But before we go into the virtual world itself, we'd just like to point out that this is actually open for everybody. Anyone can come and join the OPPO yeah. virtual world and just by signing up. I think we'll link the... Yep, you're just going to show the link there. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna link it below. Actually, I think OPPO really took it seriously. But as far as we know, the virtual world that they've created is... There are certain activities that you can do inside... Uh, create our avatar. So that's our default character. Which well, this one? is the Oppo Glass. This is actually their uh, one of their products that they recently announced. All right, okay. Let's let's, let's go with let's the go Oppo. with the Oppo dude. Okay. Shall we enter? Shall we? Okay. Here we Do go. Okay. Oh, oh, wow! So it's really a virtual world. I think that let us click screen. this. Big... Oh, yeah. oh, okay. Oh, okay. Let's watch. Hello, hello, I'm Scott Zhang. Hello. So glad to be here with you at OPPO MWC 2022. According to third party, OPPO has shipped the second most 5G Android smartphones globally in the last two years, with the overall shipment of the 5 and Reno series increasing by more than 50% year on year before we forget we just want to do a small shameless plug we actually are in our new studio we're Maybe. going to have actually a uh, studio tour so are we hosting tuned. that too so let's okay. see anyway. a surprise for you guys so yeah. stay tuned on that with massive display experience it can also rotate and stop at pretty much any angle as a device that set a new benchmark more important it wins the heart of the users in the past few years OPPO has been actively promoting the development of 5G around the world. Let me introduce you our latest 5G CPE, the OPPO 5G CPE T2. Compared to our last CPE T1A, we pursued a rounded, gentle, and modern look to challenge the design of traditional home electronics. T2 is also OPPO's first IoT device built with recycled materials. By reusing post-consumer recycled plastics, we are able to reduce our carbon footprint the design inspiration comes from symbolizing the idea of infinite connection. T2 boasts an unmatched performance in 5G connectivity. It is equipped with the industry-leading Qualcomm Snapdragon X662 modem, which can also be upgraded to the more advanced Snapdragon X665. The o reserve technology smartly selects four of the eight simultaneously running receive antennas. T2 supports the latest Wi-Fi 6 connection and allows the connection of up to 256 devices at the same time. This guarantees a more robust and stable Wi-Fi connection, immune to interference. Now this is T2, our latest OPPO 5G CP product. The OPPO 5G CP T2 will be available in the second half of 2022. We just finished watching the 5G showcase uh, about their 5G CP products. Mm -hmm. Actually the look and the design, well I'm, a, I'm more of a designer guy, yeah. so I really appreciate the, the luxury of the Usually, you know, routers are just placed you, in the corner of your house. Yeah, and right? when you go to an electronic store, when you see a router, you know it's a router. Yes, luxury. It's not just aesthetic, they also use um, sustainable reusable materials. Exactly. They recycled a lot. It has a capacity up to 256 users. Yeah. Like, usually you see those numbers only on enterprise type of routers. Yes, so usually like, these are for hotels. Yeah. Uh like for organization, airports. airports yeah. Like for I used to actually configure some of those routers yeah. and it's really complicated in terms of software. Presentation. It looks like they're going after uh, very customer friendly. Yes. Technically the speed the security and the capacity is there. I really hope they actually. Yeah, they all bring it here. Bring it here locally. Yeah, by the way, it looks te technically it's they want it to be you know in a centerpiece of so, your home. The 256 capability that's obviously a yeah, lot, and that's lot. obviously very good. But so do you think that they'll? Well, wait. Actually, I'm counting my devices. I actually have twenty more than twenty. Yeah. So how many routers do you have? I only have one mesh router. Uh, so you need one. Yeah. Probably. So, Oppo, <laughs> if you're listening, you can send one over to him. But so yeah. we probably think we can expect a home-friendly yeah, home version. version. I'd like to introduce the 150 watt SuperWook with BHE, 
the world's first charging solution that combines fast charging and an extended battery lifespan. The newest 150 watt SuperWook features, it is capable of charging at a maximum of 20 volt 7.5 ampere. A 4,500 milliampere hour battery can be easily filled up to 50% in 5 minutes and 100% in just 15 minutes. We were able to double them to 1,600 times. We call it battery here's engine. The smart battery algorithm can track the cathode of the battery in real time. The smart current regulation reduces the probability of causing dead lithium cells, reducing the damage done to the anodes and cathodes. This is how DHE raises the charging speeds and extends the battery lifespan significantly. I'm glad to announce that starting today, the BHE will become a staple for Oppo and OnePlus mid to high-end products. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Zero to one hundred in this nine minutes. Nine minutes. Forty seconds. The fastest smartphone charging wow. in the world. A four thousand five hundred milliampere hour battery can be fully charged in just wow. nine minutes. I take my and money. Energy. Yes. <laughs> Please stay tuned. I already happy if my phone charges in fifteen minutes. Let me see everything from us. <laughs> I'm still amazed. What's yeah. that? I'm still struggling to find words. So they showcase two things. It's yeah. the 150 watts. The 150 watts is the first one, which is going to be obviously the first one to be integrated into yeah, range um, and high end. Yeah, industry standard nowadays is about 65 watts. Yes, yes. that's pretty uh, fast already. From yeah, zero to 100 in how about 45. 45. 45 or an hour? Let's just say yeah, an hour. 45 yeah. minutes. That's a big. But yeah, yeah. say 45. But the 150, 0 to 100 in 15, 15 yeah, minutes 15 for the minutes 100. for the 150. Yeah. Usually, with that speed in terms of charging, yeah, misconception that people always think that it will damage the battery, and yeah. that's that's where that's where what they're trying to solve. Yeah, with the BHE, BHE the technology, battery. Right. So the, even engine. though the charging is fast. You're still going to have yeah. a long-lasting battery, so and they short. guarantee that it will even yeah. last for four years. Which yeah, is the, they're saying one, the industry standard like, is usually just three years. Yeah, they're saying something like one thousand six hundred charging cycles. cycles. Yes, and that, according to them, is double the usual. Is usually usually right. batteries only last, according to them, eight hundred cycles. Correct. But there's more, <laughs> which <laughs> is the one we're really like. Blown away. They're working on a 240 watt what? in nine minutes. In nine minutes. It's not even five percent to one hundred. Okay. It's when your can, phone is dead. Yes. Can you can you <laughs> count things that you're doing in less than ten minutes? Uh, nothing. <laughs> when your phone is dead, yes. it's no battery. You can't yes. do anything with it. From that to fully charged <laughs> in nine minutes. Nine minutes. Mid-range devices. I, I'm actually, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a mid-range guy. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm a mid-range guy, but yeah. that's a separate conversation. Yes, correct. Which brings us to that we're all actually going to eventually do a podcast. We really can't say too much because we're limited by the by the minutes of this video, but stay tuned as well. This again, since obviously this is in partnership with OPPO, who again we'd yeah. like to thank for inviting us to this to incredible part, showcase. Yeah. yeah, we can talk much uh, more in-depth. In-depth, yes, more opinionated. We're opinionated yeah. and we, what more can we tell with our own opinion at the same time with our own experience yes, with, with this kind of uh, technologies and with the previous technologies that we already encountered. Yeah. So yeah, stay, stay tuned. tuned to that. It's a short bit. Oh, so it's multiple short bit. Oh. oh okay. Oh, What's Mari, that? that's the Mari Mari Silicon X, the imaging processor. Okay. For the camera. Okay. So it's the brain of the camera, yeah. basically. But based on what I see here, is that 
they're still haven't announced the device that this one's to going to have to have the Mario Silicon X. 4K AI night video clear as day even at night. So let's do this game. Okay. One, two, three. flagship hall. Yeah. Let's go, go there. Ooh. So this is the X5. This is okay. the Pro. Ooh. So they finally got. Hasselblad to the also one, do the Oppo phone. Yeah, the one you mentioned while ago. Yeah, so it's not just OnePlus now. Yeah. Oh, so okay, so, so that's it's the, powered by the that new... Right it's a good looking phone. Yes. I actually like the, very cam sleek. the camera bomb. Yeah, it's not the, very intrusive. No, and it looks... Seamless. Yeah, it's seamless. The curved out, rounded yeah. out edges to the cluster is nice. Mm. Oh, Snapdragon 8 Gen. 4K Ultra Night mm. Video by Neural with Adobe Atmos. Wow! Five axis. Oh, stabilization. So it has an OIS. Oh, oh, so it's 80 and 50. 80 and 50. Yeah, okay. 80 so we can finally 50. now answer the question. Yeah, we can that. finally answer the question. <laughs> Bionic display. Wow. Bionic display. Hasselblad for mobile. Wow. No light shooting experience. Which is a big struggle for most cameras. Yeah. Especially Actually, mobile cameras. Exactly, because I think uh, mobile now is leaning towards the night shot. Yeah, I think Most more them, right? more people are trying to be able to do that on their phones. Exactly. Because for the longest time, when you're shooting at night, it's like it's muddy. Yeah, right? it's grainy. It's, so grainy. Yeah. it's really dark. Yeah, almost impossible. Yep, impossible. But so this that's why they're quality. highlighting that here, it seems that yeah. it's possible to do but, it with high quality. And even in 4K. Yeah. For video, yes. At night, at night. Not just during. <laughs> Again, wow. This is oh, it, it's a different. Yeah, it's a different module. Camera. camera module. Oh no, this is the, the fold. Find it. Yeah, the foldable, which you already have videos on, right? Yeah. So if you're curious about that, just head on over to our YouTube channel. Yep. We do have something on that. They also announced this last year. Last year. Same actually virtual event. Yeah. Oppo in a day. Yeah. 2021. Another big thing that a lot of um, mobile makers are taking seriously is the uh, wireless buds. Yes, the PWS. Everybody's really taking it seriously now. Honestly, I didn't believe in it before. Yeah. But now that I finally have my own, <laughs> it's something you didn't know you needed, but you actually need. I think that's also the reason that they are removing the headphone jack so that they can technically showcase this kind of technology. It's one less hole for water to get into. And dust. Yep. Right? So they actually put a lot of thought yeah. into this virtual world. There are a lot of things that I expected you can do in here. So this is the AR. Yep, we also have featured this uh, device. Oh, yeah, we recently do. have uploaded this one. We so did. you can go again, guys, check our hands on video. Cyber, Cyber Real. Real. Oh, it's AR. This is the AR part. Oh, wow. That's cool. Augmented reality. And that's just in your phone. I actually like playing with this type of uh, feature because I'm, I'm into 3D. Yeah. So I really love seeing my actual uh, object. Okay. Like physically. Yeah. And even it's in, just in the virtual world. Yeah. Well, it certainly adds character to A whatever you're looking at. Yeah. yeah. Virtually. At least. So it so the Cyber Real 2.0 is basically the software enables positioning to be more accurate and yes, the orientation. Yes, because usually GPS is the main uh, technology that we use for collecting Pos data, positioning. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I think they've merged the power of Bluetooth sensors, cameras, yeah. and uh, the AR technology. Basically with the harnessing everything in a yes, phone. Yes, in a phone. And then to try to make, to it, make as it as accurate as possible. As possible. That's yep. cool. I Correct. Mean, because usually GPS it takes time yeah, before it, it can lock in the your position. Yeah, it, it's an annoying problem, but cool. Cyber real, too much. Yeah, there's, there's a, a webcam. camera. There's a webcam. Yeah. That's huge. Yeah, it looks. Yeah. Why? The, the, Maybe the, she has small wrists. Yeah, there's small wrists. AI. Yeah. It can talk, move, and interact like a real person. Wait, is, that, is the technology the watch? Or the virtual reality. It's called digital human. So it's a self-developed, hyper-realistic virtual character. So it's where, where they're so talking about the character. Inside the yeah. TV. 
Or the, the, the digital version. Oh, we completed the task. Oh, we have a new costume. All right. There you go. The 65 watts is the old. Yeah. Yeah, so if you look at this graph, the 65 watts to get to 50%, 50% yeah, is... the battery. This one, 40 minutes. 40, for sorry. 60, for the 65 watts. To get to 100%. Yeah, to 100%. Yeah. 150, watts. it's 15 minutes for 100. And 50% for 5 minutes. Conventional, yeah. Yeah, conventional. Flash, so it's 800, which is not bad. Yep. I'd be satisfied with that. Yep. 1600 cycles. Yeah. It's a big leap. Thanks. Yeah. Too. So that's the life. The <laughs> lifespan is literally. Hopefully, we can answer it. Okay. Okay, so it's oh, the same question. It's the same question. So yeah. I think hopefully we can perfect it. Yeah. Now. Okay. Six, All right. Meter. So we were right with this. Nine minutes? Nine so minutes. hopefully we can perfect this so we can achieve something. Some, uh, 1580. Yes. Is this one? Yes. Ah. What? Sika, yeah, sika, sika. Yes. yes. Okay. 20 bit. Oh, did you just randomize it again? Yeah. Okay. So let's I'll go try with, with 75. Oh! <laughs> nice. Okay, we didn't need the hinge, the hinge of the fan between 50 and 120. Yes, oh, we got we got it right. All right, perfect, perfect. So what do we get? Oh, oh another, another oh, okay, one. Okay, good. let's take a look at that. There, there. We go. Oh. oh, that's nice. That's pretty cool. So that's it. I think. That's basically it. So yes. we're just gonna leave it here first while yeah. we wrap up. So okay. I'm impressed. So I'd like to thank them again for inviting us yes. to this incredible showcase because then I'm honestly more curious now about yes, and the, the upcoming products. Innovations yeah, and the innovation. that they're, they're coming up. Which which one is your top one? Honestly, it's charging. I mean <laughs> Technically Oppo is uh, one of the leading innovator when it comes to fast charging. Yeah. And their sister company, OnePlus, right? Yeah, the OnePlus. Dash. They're stepping it up every year. They're stepping it and it's up. Not, you and I are talking about the charging. They're, it's not just the charging. They're stepping it up in everything else. Like the Find, the Find X. Yes. Good looking phone. Correct. Find X5. Good looking phone. The 5G modem. Modem. Yes, yes. It goes to show that they're really well rounded. Correct. And we learned a lot. I learned a lot. Me too. I learned a lot. And again, I mean, we hope you guys have the time to. You know, have the same experience as right. us. I guess yep. you learn a lot. You learn a lot. You can experience a lot. Also, very interactive. Exactly. Maybe if anybody who's watching this gets to eventually experience the whole world, don't hesitate to comment and show us. Yeah, let, let's your let's avatar, know. your avatar, hey, the share, things you were able media. to do. Yep. Right. Share us as you get tech. Media. With that, um, thank you for taking the time. You've made it till this part. We'd like Perfect. to thank you. We appreciate. We very we much appreciate, appreciate you. Too. Taking the time to watch yeah. this video. And uh, yeah, this has been Pablo again. Yeah. B Boy. Yes, and hope you subscribe on our channel. Yeah, don't, don't forget, forget to subscribe. To and uh, comment down below. Let us know which is your top Oppo feature or highlight that you you that really impress you, impress you the most. I hope we did so again, suck, man. Once again, thanks to Oppo for <laughs> so once again, yeah. giving us this exclusive this, invite uh, for the Oppo MWC yeah. 2022. And uh, once again, I'm B Boy. I'm Pablo. Take care. Signing out.